Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to Unfiltered. Pastor David, welcome as hey, always. Uh, Pastor David, today marks the 10-year anniversary since Pastor Chuck went home to be with the Lord. And uh, I can only imagine the things that you're thinking about and the times that he's ministered to you and what he's meant to you in your life. Reflecting back now, 10 years, I mean, that seems like it probably went by quick. It did. What are your thoughts when you think about today and you think about the anniversary of his passing? Well, you know, there are there are people who's who's going home or passing will always make a um, an indelible imprint in your memory. Things that you will you'll always be impacted by. You know, my father going home to be with the Lord, my mama going home to be with Jesus. You know, and my my father in law, people who mattered in my life and. And and as you grow older, naturally you you see more people uh, departing uh, either for heaven or for judgment. And so, in the case of my pastor Chuck, yeah, it uh, it's a very it's a very um, I don't know it's a it's a, it's a sober kind of sense that comes over me. He was uh, he was my spiritual father in many ways. I, I got saved under under uh, the ministry of uh, Arthur Blessed. But the very first church I ever attended as a Christian was Calvary Chapel. And so Pastor Chuck had been significant uh, at that time already in the Jesus movement and Jesus revolution or whatever you wanna, whatever you wanna call it. He already was. But over the course of the years after that, after getting saved and all, and, getting involved in pastoral ministry and and uh, having him come out and speak at our fellowship. Um, over the years, he became much more dear to me, you know, and, and at the end of it, Marie and I became very close in, in many ways, very close to to him and, uh, and to Kay. Uh, Marie was on what was called uh, Kay's board. Uh, she was one of the early members of that and she spent well over 30 years on on K Smith's board and and me I traveled with Pastor Chuck uh, many times went to Israel with him my very first time in Israel was with Pastor Chuck went with him uh, on cruises to Alaska went with him on cruises to the Mediterranean went on the footsteps of Paul with him twice um, I was on his board for the um, Calvary Chapel Outreach Fellowship Board that oversaw uh, all the Calvary chapels throughout the world. I I grew to know him very well, and he became extremely special to me. When my father died, I spoke to Pastor, and and uh, he called Marie. Actually, called him in, and um, she wanted me to talk to my pastor, and he spoke to me and shared with me like a dad would. He um, on one occasion, we were at a pastor's conference, and and I was I, I sat down and talked to him a lot. We ministered together for many years. I, I did twenty five years of conferences with him in uh, in Anaheim. He spoke here for numerous conferences we had over the years, fifteen, twenty of them or more. So we we became close, and I I remember sitting next to him and and saying to him. You know, my my father has gone home to be with Jesus, Chuck, and and now now you're my dad. And uh, I, one of my fond memories was when I was speaking at the Anaheim Men's Conference, and I was the next speaker, and and um, there were a line of chairs, and Chuck was seated in the center. There were maybe five or six chairs. He was seated there. He was doing the introductions, and and when I uh, was about to go speak, I went and sat next to him you know, just to wait. And and I'll never forget how he, he turned and looked at me and I smiled at him and he put his arm around me and he drew me close like a son and a father. And uh, he didn't let go. He just kept his arm on me and eventually he got up and walked up and, and introduced me. And so Chuck was uh, extremely dear to me. And um, it was through his influence and his grace that God gave me ministry that reached as many and has reached as many as it has. 
He put me on K-Wave for many years and uh, gave me opportunity to voice the gospel over the airwaves. He dedicated buildings for us. He, he was there anytime I needed him. And uh, yeah, I miss him a lot, John. I think of him often, Marie and I both um, miss him an awful lot. So yeah, 10 years, 10 years have gone by and, uh, and it's difficult in some ways to, uh, to even reminisce openly about it. But uh, he was very important to me, very important to the kingdom of God, but he never saw himself as that important, mm -hmm. which is humility. And finally, he, he's the one who impressed me the most, though I, the Spirit of God did this, I must confess, first and foremost, it was the Lord's Spirit who said, this is what you must do. But he modeled to me, um, loving the word, teaching the word, saying, true to the word, not being distracted by outside cultural things, stick into the word, stick teaching the word, and, uh, and walk in the spirit. He modeled that for me. And so he taught me not to try and press out, uh, press out forward, try to get known, be famous. He, he taught me just to be faithful. So for that, I'm very grateful. Amen. You know, Pastor, it's interesting. I didn't know Pastor Chuck on a personal level. Uh, just, uh, seen him a lot on videos and there's a lot of things, a lot of tendencies that he has that I see that you do as well that I don't even know if you're aware of. Some of the times when I'll ask you a question, I never heard him say this, but the way he would, sometimes I'll ask you or say something, you'll go, oh, mm -hmm. and, uh, or just little these tendencies that I see that uh, tells me how much of an influence he has in your life. And, um, and you know, secondarily, if there's a way to thank Pastor Chuck for, uh, for for raising you up the way he did, that you are pastor now, and uh, and so thankful for that, and that your his legacy lives on through your ministries in a lot of ways, so I, I know that the church is appreciative of that. So I want to say thank you, and uh, and thank you for sharing that that bit with us about how much he's meant to you, of course. and uh, and so thank you for sharing that. I pastor. first encountered him when he was forty three years old. Wow, I was. I was 19, almost 20. So yeah, he had a large part of my life for many years. Well, thank you for sharing that, Pastor. Thank you guys for tuning in. We do want to invite you to our Wednesday evening service that starts at 7 p.m. Uh, we'll be You'll be teaching us in Romans chapter... Gosh, 15. 15. <laughs> You're just sharing <laughs> that with me. <laughs> uh, we invite you guys to come out and join our friends and family to join us. And then again on Sunday, we have our 8.30 and 10.45 Always great for you to come out and join us. Invite your friends and family. We look forward to seeing you and God bless you.